Hi, this is Srini and you're watching my tutorials on Python for Microscopist channel on YouTube. Again, if you are a mid-level to experienced programmer, you're on the wrong channel. Please don't waste your time here. Go find better videos on YouTube. If you are a beginning programmer, especially into image processing, then please stick around. Uh, in today's uh, lecture, again, we are not starting coding yet, but we are still building the basement. So today, let's actually understand what command prompt is and uh, how to use it. Basically, we'll look at a few uh, core commands and it's very important for you to get familiar with uh, the command prompt because uh, sometimes we absolutely need to work with these uh, command prompt uh, scripts so we can either run the Python program, for example, or to manage the code using Git, or uh, there's always a reason to know more about, uh, to learn more about this command prompt. Now, how do you get to this command prompt? Uh, a little bit of history, actually. Uh, at least when I started learning how to do my initial programming back in the day, in mid-1990s in Fortran, uh, I worked on Unix machines, and the command prompt reminds me a lot of these Unix machines. Uh, although I should mention that Windows uh, command prompt is definitely not based on the Unix uh, uh, architecture, I would say. The, uh, and, and Linux and uh, Mac terminals are more close to what you would see on Unix than uh, the ones from Windows. But they look very similar. So uh, how do you open? command prompt well on your windows system let me go ahead and uh, search for cmd and then just open this command prompt and uh, it opened up on my other screen so let me go ahead and drag it here and you can change your working directory right now i'm in c users and my username so if i type cd space dot dot i go one folder back cd space dot dot one folder back I want to get into a different folder, I believe I call this Python for Microscopist, PFM. So if I do DIR, it's going to show what files I have under this file. In fact, let me go ahead and open this. So if you look at uh, PFM, I have Python files, file one, file two. This is what we are seeing here. So if I actually change the directory to Python files, you can see now let me do dir which means what files do i have under this folder so i should have a folder or a directory called images and i have a file i have a couple of other files right here okay and i can go back one step by typing cd space dot dot i'm back and if the screen is messy you can just do cls that uh, cleans up the screen okay and uh, what other commands do we have? So we already learned about DIR and CD and CLS clears the uh, screen. You can just type date. It's going to give you your current date. Uh, you can actually copy something. So let's uh, go into uh, maybe Python files and images. And uh, if you look at, let me open this. And uh, I have a couple of images if you want to copy. Obviously, in Windows, you just click here, Control C, Control V, it creates a copy of your image. But uh, from Command Prompt, you can actually just say copy, uh, which file do you want to copy, test image, and what file name do you want to copy it to, test2.jpg, uh, let's say, and then that should actually copy, and you have a copy of your file right there. Yeah, and if you want to delete, again, the command is del, so you can go ahead and delete that. And uh, one thing that I kind of use, at least I used to use quite a bit when I was working with uh, a lot of data between uh, two different files. So let's go back to this uh, directory where I have these file1.txt and file2.txt. File1.txt, uh, I just put some numbers in there, yeah? Uh, file1, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, file2. I don't know, two, four, six, uh, you can put like something else. And uh, uh, let's actually do five, six, seven. Uh, and I just want to, let's say you have a whole bunch of numbers here. Yeah. And you would like, or a whole bunch of something. It, it doesn't have to be numbers, characters. And you would like to know the difference between these two files. 
uh, I believe it is file compare fc file one dot text file two dot text. So now it actually tells us exactly what's uh, uh, similar between the two files, what's different, and all of that. So this can be very uh, handy. In fact, uh, just to see it on screen is probably not that uh, useful. So I'm going to say uh, file compare file one dot text file two dot text dump it into something called output.txt for example yeah it should create a new file called output.txt that has all of this information that we previously saw on the screen it's just i'm dumping what instead of showing it on the screen i'm dumping it into into uh, a file uh, what else do we have uh, let's uh, clear screen uh, directory all the text files i can just say delete star.txt that deletes all the text files in this directory so they're all gone uh, right there so as you can see command prompt is uh, it's it's nothing but it's a command line interpreter for windows uh, and uh, there are many types of command prompts i'm actually thinking about a few other commands while i'm actually mentioning uh, while I'm actually here, let's say make directory, this actually creates uh, a directory with whatever name you just mentioned. Yeah. Um, other commands, uh, again, uh, there is something called Docker, for example. This is a new container based technology. So I'm just checking, okay, what is the version of uh, the Docker that I have on my system? It's going to tell me what it is. So it's not just these basic commands for file manipulations. It you can do a lot more. For example, if you uh, if you if you want to know your network settings, yeah, IP config slash uh, all. This is something that I use quite often. So you can actually see all the settings. You know, all the network settings in your case. Uh, and uh, you can also do Python. You know. Uh, so for example, let me just type Python and then uh, let's say A equals to 2, B equals to 3, A plus B, 5. So uh, command prompt again, it, it's just a command line interpreter and on Windows you can use command prompt and if you have Windows 10, the new command prompt actually it's, uh, I believe they called it PowerShell. So let's go ahead and type it, P-O-W-E-R, Power shell okay i guess they can yeah windows powershell okay this is very similar to windows uh, command prompt except this is newer i am again not an expert to tell you exactly why this is better and it's irrelevant to begin with right now why this is better but i realized that some of the commands uh, for for example for docker they did not work in command prompt they actually work very well in PowerShell. Since it's new, I tend to use uh, PowerShell. There are a lot more of these type of terminal uh, applications. For example, if you uh, uh, install Anaconda as part of, uh, you know, uh, for your uh, IDE, then you have Anaconda PowerShell, Anaconda Prompt. If you install Git, uh, again, we'll talk about this later. It, it's irrelevant right now, but in Git, I have Git command git bash and opening any of these they kind of look pretty much the same thing you know look and feel and i believe git bash is uh, much closer to the original unix uh, commands compared to uh, the windows command prompt and let me actually drag this into this screen and uh, uh, git bash again they all look pretty much the same and they all uh, you know are nothing but command line interpreters and uh, there is a real need for us to learn exactly, you know, the, at least the basic commands so we can execute our Python files or we can actually do some file manipulations. And uh, this really comes in handy when we uh, work with uh, later on when we work with uh, our Python files. So I hope you found this lesson useful and let's continue learning in our uh, next video. Thank you very much.